Hello everyone and welcome to Global Hagen Hostel. Let me introduce you to what kind of place this is. Global Hagen Hostel is Copenhagen's first non-profit volunteer-driven hostel. It is located in Nuabro, which lies in the heart of Copenhagen and is my personal favorite part of this beautiful city. We are one of four social enterprises that belong to the non-governmental organization Mellem Folkerikt Samvirke, Action Aid Denmark. The NGO is active in over 40 countries, some of which our 20 rooms are named after. Our profit goes to a project democratically chosen by the volunteers every two years. At the moment, we are supporting political and feminist leadership training in Uganda. Global Hagen Hostel stands for three core values. Solidarity, cooperation and diversity. The climate has become one of the biggest priorities in the entire organization. We at Global Hagen have made it our mission to contribute to reinventing tourism in a more sustainable way. So, welcome to Global Hagen and enjoy your stay. My name is uh, Christian and I, um, together with uh, Livia, I run this farm called Østerbro in Copenhagen on a rooftop here in the eastern part. And the urban farm is uh, 600 square meters where we grow a lot of vegetables and we run a CSA. It's a community supported agriculture and uh, we have 40 members that get the vegetables that we grow for them. Besides from that, they also get some honey. They get the honey from uh, the bees, which is what I'm going to show you now. There's up to 60,000 bees in each beehive when it's fully productive. And I'm just going to take up a frame here to show you. This is all cells and it's all sealed cells, which means that there's a bee in, inside each cell. Once they come out of the hive, they look for the sun and then they know exactly how many degrees from the sun that they have to fly. So what, what direction can they get their honey from? This is an urban farm, so uh, we need the bees for uh, pollinating our crops. They are important, but there's also close to 300 different species of bees, and this is just one of them. We need to uh, acknowledge and understand more of their doing. They are uh, uh, an important thing in our life, because without them, we um, we wouldn't be able to grow as much food as we do today. It's 
volunteer day on Østerbro and uh, we're gonna do some sowing and planting, a little bit of weeding. And so good to see that at least some of you brought gloves and some nice tools, but else we also have gloves and tools for you. Um, first up, I'm just gonna give you a little taste of the farm. We have chickens and rabbits up here that I'll introduce you for as well. But uh, if you're ready, let's get started. All right, guys. Now we're gathered around one of our garlic beds. And uh, now this, these beautiful plants is growing big and tall so that we in July can harvest big pieces of garlic. So right now the job is just to weed in between. So what you do is you take it. Yeah, that's good. Over there, take it and do like this in between all the plants and in this way we remove for instance this is fennel that's also what we have behind us that you just tasted before as well good job the fennel that we didn't want to eat then uh, we bring this into the chickens they do beautiful eggs in here <laughs> Everything that the chickens is not eating, we add to our compost. And in this way, uh, we have a little ecosystem running up here. Okay, awesome creatures, right? Market. In this market, uh, we try to be uh, as much sustainable as, as possible in the, in the way of buying food. So that's why we have we have uh, about four kind of uh, mechanisms we have. This is no packaging. And we have all the deliveries of all food is wrapped, of course, but as big as possible, you know, to, to, to really, really cut down I mean, the, the, the packaging. The second thing is the, the waste of food. local as possible and the fourth one is to uh, reuse the things you can take your own jars so yeah we have uh, all the fruits and veggies you can see here and then we have a lot of dry foods we have around 300 products we have liquids we have wine juice uh, oils and we have soap as well known food um, uh, shampoo bars and uh, soap bars uh, produced here locally uh, coffee and, uh, and grains and so on and we have 
two shops, the shop here at Visible, Saxon Place 77, and then at Gersburg and Nordburg. And this one is the first one here, and we opened two years and a half years ago. You weight your, your jar first, eh? uh, you put it here, push on the bottom, and then you have the weight of the jar here on the sticker. But you put on the on the jar, and then you fill it up, and then when you go to the cashier, and then the, I will subtract at the cashier the weight of this. Then you only pay, of course, what it's inside. All right.